So I saw this video on Twitter yesterday, and, and it's just one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I mean, it's almost hard to believe that there's people like this that really exist, that just walk amongst us in society. You, you know, these types of people can vote. These people can operate in motor vehicles. And you know, videos like this just really make you question if that's a good idea, if that should be reevaluated. Now, with that being said, with the pandemic that's been going on, obviously cities have been putting in place mandatory policies that you have to wear a mask when you're out in public, and a ton of cities have been holding these different meetings to discuss the policies that they're putting in place. And they just have all these different people come up and say what they think about wearing a mask in public. And with that, some people just go up there to the microphone and just spew nonsense. You kind of have to wonder how they ended up there in the first place almost. So let's go ahead and jump into this one because right off the bat, it's insane almost. There's, the information is out there. The CDC is fraudulent. Bill Gates should be honestly arrested for crimes against humanity. He was on Jeffrey Epstein's plane 17 times, and there's just fraud, fraud at every level. John Hopkins is funded by Bill Gates. The CDC had tests that were like, the, literally all of it, dude. Yeah, I actually really like that final point there. You know, the CDC had tests that like that literally all of it, dude. He, he really got that one across. I, I think the whole room really just resonated with that point. I think it was just pretty much clear to all of them that he was just on another intelligence level. He's just practically speaking the language of the gods here. They can't comprehend it. There's so much fraud involved with COVID. And I ask why, and if it's not to get mandatory vaccines, hydrochloric's and there's so much misinformation about it and we're in an information war. So apparently all of this is leading up to the fact that they want mandatory vaccines. According to him, all of these mask policies and the fact that they're trying to stop the virus by telling people to just wear masks whenever they go out in public, that's all leading up to mandatory vaccination, which makes complete sense whenever you weigh the fact that there's not a vaccine for corona. I risk yet. And as far as we can tell, there won't be one anytime soon. So he's without a doubt just grasping at straws with that one. Now this next part of the video is by far my favorite part of this whole clip. Just listen to what this guy has to say. This just connects all the dots. It'll all make sense once you hear this. And when truth and like literally guys, it's just like, I ask everybody to watch Infowars.com. I've, I've been 10 hours a day, like judge for yourself, it's a free country, honestly. You know, everybody can, it, that's literally what it is. There we have it. This dude's just sitting up here spewing nonsense for almost two minutes straight, and then he just connects the dots for us right there. He watches InfoWars for 10 hours a day. 10 hours a day. Over half of his day is spent watching InfoWars every single day, seven days a week. Dude's putting 70 hours a week into InfoWars.com. It's just that you can't make this kind of stuff up. We're going to change the definition of assault if somebody comes within six feet of me. We're completely rewriting the law to appease a mob that's funded by George Soros, who is an actual You know what I'm saying? And like Bill Gates is like, we don't understand what eugenics is. It's all based off a lie. Then 2050, the global warming, we're all going to be inhabitable and there's going to be a new heaven and new earth. That's not, that's not what this is. And it's all fear tactics and they're trying to control the population. And there's forced sterilization. There's all sorts of stuff that nobody's talking about because we just want to pee as nobody wants to get their hands dirty. This is one of the hardest things I've ever had to sit through in my entire life. He just capped it off by making the statement that by telling people that they should wear a mask, they're trying to control the population and its fear tactics by saying, if you put a piece of cloth over your mouth, it might protect you from a virus. Now, after that guy's whole speech was said and done, this lady stepped up to the podium. You know, she's up at bat here and it was just, it was three and out. I mean, that's the best way to put it. She was looking like Shaq at the free throw line. Just miss after miss. It's almost embarrassing to watch here. I am an at-risk health individual. Um, I am also opposed to the mask law, the mandatory mask wearing. Um, I'm up here right now because I worry that um, the mandatory mask wearing is a slippery slope and that you know, what's next? Well, I'll tell you how the mandatory mask policies work. What happens is because people are wearing masks and transmitting the virus less, you know, less people are getting sick, more places are able to reopen, there's less hospitalizations, basically just everything gets better almost. It's kind of a wild concept. That's what's next to people just, you know, wear masks and follow the policy. Um, 
you know, this becomes the norm. What's next? Mandatory vaccines is a huge scare in my mind um, due to my health issues. Um, mandatory blood withdrawals, things like that. Um, very scary to me. I mean, wh what's going on here? What did I miss? Mandatory vaccines? Mandatory blood withdrawal? What is Count Dracula J just running the government now? Mandatory blood withdrawal? Where'd you get that from? Just Harry Houdini over here pulling stuff out of thin air. Anyway, I think we've all seen enough of this one. I don't know how much more ridiculousness we can really handle here. These guys just stepping up to the podium and saying the dumbest stuff they can think of. I don't know. This is just one of the craziest videos I've ever seen. I hope this video was made as some kind of parody because it's hard to believe that that was real. But anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RealXYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.